Leo, hi. So uh, this is going to be a reading for January 2020. We're going to take a look at how you're starting off the year. Hopefully better than the last one. <laughs> for me, at least. Uh, oh, there you go. I'm uh, going to start off the reading with the Mystical Shaman Oracle card, uh, which just popped out for you. I'm not looking at it. Um, and I'll be reading that from the book because uh, I feel like it's important for you to get the whole message from there. Then I'll be doing the reading and then I'll be um, closing it off with two more oracle cards for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box if you want. And now let's take a look at what the shaman has for you. Stand still. I did. Okay, let's see. 52, 52. Stand still, Leo. Our favorite action, right? To stand still. Not. All right. Um, when things seem to tall or stagnate or when you feel stuck the symbol appears as a reminder that constant action action isn't going to get you where you want to go perhaps it's time to gather more information or just wait until the universe makes the next move no matter what this moment is a beautiful gift orchestrated in your favor enjoy it let the universe bring all the parts together for the highest good go and play recharge and take the focus off whatever has stalled Life will get busy again for you sooner than you think. That's good. All right, Leo. So <laughs> that's going to be challenging a little bit for some of you. I know that for a fact. So um, try to remember that, though. It's good advice. So, Leo, let's see what you're up to. Now I know that, now I know why you got that card, uh, you know, standing still because you're in your, your head a little bit here and there. Um, the overall energy for the reading, the three of wands, I feel like you've put some work into something and you're kind of just waiting for the results to show up here. You're waiting for your ships to come in, in a situation. Starting off the reading, you get the Temperance card crossed by the Four of Pentacles. You're going against, there's some sort of a transformation trying to push in, some sort of a change, trying to come into your life, and you're like, mm. you're going against it a little bit. Don't do that. It's going to be more painful than it already is, you know? Uh, there's your focus here, yourself, your, yes, you are going along with whatever it is that's happening, you know, um, I feel like you're standing in your power, and you're just doing your thing, but there is a little bit of stubbornness here, and a little bit of going against what is happening here. Uh, I feel like in the recent past, you opened up towards um, learning new things, possibly, uh, just opening up in general you know, um, not necessarily towards something specific here, although it could be for some of you. Um, your focus right now is the moon. Why is this your focus, Liam? See, your focus should be to stand still when this is showing up for you, because this is telling me that you're kind of questioning the things that um, you may not know in regards to a specific situation. Why do you care about those things? you know, like how a person feels about you, or what your friend said to whoever and whatever, it, it's, you know, 
stand still, pretty much. Um, coming up for you in the immediate future, somebody's coming towards you very passionately. Um, what's supporting you right now? You don't want to be stuck in your mind. You don't want to create these thoughts for yourself where you're going to be like, Oh my God, um, I'm panicking about things. I, stand still again, pretty much, you know. Uh, you don't want to be stuck in your head because you don't function well when you're stuck in your head. You're, you think and you feel with your heart, not with your head. And it's looking like you've done this. Um, in the past and it didn't work out that great and you're like, I don't want to be doing that anymore. You know, um, the overall, no, the energy that surrounds you and you may not be aware of it, you, there's something at work here for you, you know. Um, you just want stability, you just want nurturing, you just want to take care of yourself, of your family, of your friends, in whatever way you can, you know, offer them that support that everything this is somebody that takes care of their foundation their family you know and you're um wanting to get to this kind of energy and i feel like for the most part you're there but you're wanting to to keep it stable you know uh coming up for you in the potential outcome very powerful brand new beginning here let's clarify let's clarify this three of wands Leo, you might be trying a little too much to please everybody at this time, you know, kind of like um, your friends are calling you, hey, do you want to go out? And you may not be in the mood, you know, and you're like, yeah, 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 sure, because you don't want to upset them or things like that. So uh, be a little mindful of that. I do see you working on uh, reducing this kind of energy where if you're just not in the mood, you're just going to tell them, hey, not tonight. You know, oh, but, you know, you said you would, not tonight. Simple as that, you know. Uh, this is something you've been working on for quite some time, I feel like, with this uh, shadow side, which is a devil card. Um, you trying to, not even a people pleaser, not even in that way, but like taking care of others before you take care of yourself, of your own needs, you know. Pretty much, that's what it's looking like. This is some sort of a lesson that you've been working on, and you're still working on, and it's looking like you're doing a good job with it. So, keep at it. Uh, let's go to the Temperance card. <laughs> you don't want this transformation. You don't want this change. You're like, oh, hell no. No, 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 I'm not going through this again. It's like the universe is knocking at your door and you're like, nobody's home, you know, because uh, it's hard. It's not easy to go through changes and things like that. Even even if they're for the better, it's still a change. It's still hard. You're a fixed sign. You're like, I don't like, I, no. So um, whenever this shows up, it's like nobody's home, you know, because uh, it's hard. But then... You you do go within. You do go <coughs> towards this transformation. You embrace it, you know, eventually when you're done with being a Leo, you know. So let's uh, clarify the Four of Pentacles. Let's see what that is. You're walking away from a connection, Leo. You're uh, detaching yourself emotionally from a connection. You're very logical when it comes to this connection these days. And you're trying to walk away. This is somebody that kind of walks away. Not really. But deep, deep down, you're, you're kind of 
revving yourself up kind of like no 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 this has to happen i'm out i'm done i'm you know um but you're still looking back a little bit just a little bit you know doesn't mean that you're gonna do something about it or that you know but just energetically you're still there 0.2 percent let's say i don't know Let's uh, clarify the strength card in your focus. There you go. You want something new in your life. When it comes to love, when it comes to stability, you do want something. There you are again. You do want something that's stable, that's long-lasting, that's loving, that, you know. You want all of that, and that's your focus right now. For some of you, it could be somebody that you know, that you're thinking about having this with. For others, just in general, just the idea of stability and love in life. You're focusing on it, you know. Uh, let's clarify the moon in your focus. See, it's kind of torturing you here. You're kind of torturing yourself, trying to... And this is, again, something you're fighting with. Um, trying to understand what this person or the situation is hiding from you. Somebody's not being fully honest or, you know, not sharing openly how they feel, how they look at things and things like that. And that's actually, you're trying to make sense of it, trying to understand why they would do that. What is, what doesn't matter, you know? As long as they're not opening up to you, then it's something that you shouldn't even know. So why concern yourself with that? Because I see a lot of um, resistance towards working with this energy where just release it. Just release it. You know? Trying to question like, oh, I wonder what they're doing now or what they're thinking about me or what they're thinking about the situation or how do they feel or if they're not telling you, not your problem, you know? So, huh, interesting. Uh, let's do the Knight of Wands for your immediate future. Somebody's manifesting, um, coming in here. And yeah, I would say this is you, but the way this card is looking down here on the table, it's looking like somebody's coming towards you very passionately. Somebody that's going to be moving really, really fast. And they're manifesting this with you, you know, turning out great. Uh, let's see, let's clarify the Two of Swords. For some reason, when I came back to this Two of Swords, um, I kind of got that that's your person that you're dealing with. Uh, let's see. Let's see what this is. Wow. Leo, uh, use your intuition. Use your intuition. You know it's there. You know it's strong. And you can grab onto it anytime you want. Because otherwise you'll just get stuck in your head. And you don't like that. And um, things are... Things are moving along here. It's looking like... You are going through some sort of an ending of a cycle here in regards to something that you really, really want or someone that you really, really want. Sometimes you do have the tendency to fall back into this, but for the most part, as long as you use your intuition, you know. You just know that something is ending here, but it's, it is leaving room for something brand new to begin. Something that's going to bring you wish fulfillment, you know? Maybe that's something in the past that you thought you wanted. I don't know. Let's clarify the Eight of Pentacles in the Hidden Energies.
There it is. Somebody is coming towards you. Somebody that uh, feels like this connection is wish fulfillment. And you have no clue about that. This is working. Um, somebody's working towards coming. Let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this is your person. You don't want any kind of deception, any kind of sabotage in regards to this person when they approach you, because they will. Um, really strong connection here. A lot of major arcanas and the, the Six of Cups and the Lovers showed up here. This person is going to show up back into your life offering you love. And you're like, yeah, but... How about that sabotage you pulled? Or how about that self-deceptive kind of energy? Or how about, you know, you know, things like that? Are those still here or are they gone? Let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles for the potential outcome. Leo, you need to be patient. This will come. This will happen. There is a brand new beginning here, very powerful one, in love, possibly with a Taurus. This is uh, a very solid commitment here, also a very strong spiritual um, teaching kind of thing, you know. I feel like this connection is very spiritual here, with the Temperance card showing up, but um, you do need to give it time, space, and patience, all of your patience here. Stand still. Stand still. Um, so let me pull up some cards from the universe for you. Oh, God. Again, Six of Cups here with the Six of Pentacles. Things, I feel like things will get balanced here in this situation and things will get past the deceptive energy once you stand in your power you know put up your boundaries and stay there kind of like yeah but you said all of these things and all of that but now i really need to see that you have feelings and i need to see you know kind of like show it to me i'm not going to change my energy and my attitude until i see that things are balanced that things are on the right path here in this connection you know Pretty darn good, Leo. So, let's uh, pull up two more Oracle cards here. What do you want? You're hot, huh? Okay. Let me finish up here and I'll take you off. I think I, think I exaggerated with the heat. Oops. Uh, let's see. Although I'm not hot. Why are you hot? I'm not hot. Okay. Uh, from the spirit of the animals, you get the dragon. Supernatural. Wow. You are the ancient wise sage. You can sh shapeshift at will. Mastery is your destiny. Rise with dignity. You're the shit, Leo. Because I'm the shit. <laughs> no, kidding. Oracle of the Fairies. Flourish. The Lotus Flower Fairy tells you to learn from experience and shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life of or those of others. So you keep doing your thing. This connection will um, do its thing. Uh, but you keep doing you, because I do see a little bit of resistance over that whole aspect of, oh, but I don't know how they feel, so fucking what, until they tell you, you know, per mouth, uh, how they feel, what do you care? It's just going to create this for you, and you don't like this, you know? Um, so, Leo, 
that's what I have for you. I hope this helped and I will see you next time. Happy New Year.